Hey YouTube, what's up? Ryan here from Terra Tech Entertainment, here to show you how to make a Terraria server. So, first off, what you want to do, you want to go onto any web browser and go to terraria.org. And I will have a link down in the description to that. All you have to do really is just download this, the dedicated server software. So just click on that. And let that download just real quick should not be too long okay now you just want to click on that and I have it in 7-zip alright and what it gives you are these three files so I'll go ahead and make this pretty small so I can move it around alright now you're done with the internet and go ahead and make a folder wherever you want your server to be so just make a folder, I'm going to call it Terraria Server. Okay. So now all you want to do is just copy all of these and drag them over into the Terraria Server. And now you can just exit out of there and here you go, you have your server. So you can either start it off from one of these two things, but before you get started you're going to have to open up your port 777 over your computer's IP address. So what you're going to want to do, first off you want to figure out what your computer's IP address is and if you know that that's good but if not you can go into command prompt and type in IP config. All one word, no spaces or capitals. Hit enter and it should be right here in IPv4 address. So this is your local IP address. So do not give this to your friends. If they want to join, you're going to have to give them your global IP address, which I will show you how to find in just a minute. So you want to find that out, and then you want to find out the default gateway, which is usually these first three sets and then a one after. So now that you're done with that, you want to open your port, which you can do by typing in your router's IP address which is the one I just showed you at the bottom which for me would be 192.168.1.1 and just hit enter sign in uh, it's gonna require a username and password which are usually very simple if you haven't changed them it's usually admin and password and you wanna go down to port forwarding and then forward the port for your IP address all right, well, that was weird. Okay, so once you got that all done, which you can look up other videos for the router that you have, so just figure that out. Get your port opened, which I can't show you now because it's different for every single router. And once you're done with that, all you want to do, open this up and open up one of these two, either the start server or Terraria server, which it doesn't matter. And this always is the same so I'm gonna do it from the start server you exit this and what it gives you right here are just the worlds that you can choose from so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my stupor world which is three so you put that in hit enter max players which the default is eight but you can set it to whatever you want but if you have more people on it's gonna be running kinda slow so I usually have it around 4. And then your port 7777, which usually that's the default. You should keep it at that. All you have to do is hit enter. And then a password. You don't have to have a password, but if you want, you can just type one in right here. And that's what everyone has to put in for to access your server. So once you do that, it will load all this data and you can also make worlds and do other things and then you want to hit allow and then there's this is your server right here so all you have to do is go into Terraria and then you want to go multiplayer join choose a person and then you want to type in the ad the IP address so if you are running the server 
you can just type in your local IP address or you can type in local host and hit enter and then enter again and it will go in and then you type in the password hit accept and here you are you are in the world so that's how you enter it and if you want other people to join you on your server you're gonna want to you're gonna want to go ahead and give them your global IP address which you can find by going to can you see me dot org so go there it should be in the upper left hand corner and you can also type in the port that you want to see if it can reach so other people can get in so type in the port 7777 under where it says type in port here and it will tell you if it's open and if it's open you forwarded your port correctly if not you're gonna have to figure that out sorry I cannot show you that because it's different for everything but that is how you open a server and in the server if you type in help it gives you a bunch of commands that you can use you cannot use this when you're a person playing around but you can only use this in the server window so all these different commands you can only use here but you can change the daytime you can settle water and there's just a whole bunch of different things you can do and it's pretty simple as that and all you can do you can go save to save the server and if you want to exit out just hit exit it'll save it again and it'll back it up and then it'll restart the server and you'll be back at this screen now if you just want to open it up just go through the same steps at the beginning just open whatever world and it goes off the world that you saved before so just open your world up and then set it up again and you should be good to go well thanks for watching this video I hope you found it helpful and if you did find it helpful please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button up in the left hand corner and also if you have any questions leave a comment down below and I will see you next time thanks for watching